first hour. This is still first hour. First hour. Can't Alright. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna measure it. You can go ahead and get started if you're ready. You can watch me. Always, always, always looking at my original. I'm gonna measure up. About three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half from the front. I'm use my elephant ear to dig that out. And then I need to make sure that I have them symmetrical. Okay, our next space, I'm going to take some of this out so this is flat. This is a pretty flat plane right here. Pretty flat plane right through here. If you have this skull, then it's going to come in a little bit here. You need to measure... You can pick up your skull, absolutely, you can pick up your skull. I'd say with this one, I would measure with the calipers or with your fingers to get that negative space out. So now, I'm going to look at this big negative space right here. So I'm going to measure from the front at the base, and that is about three inches. About three inches from here to here. And then this space here is about four inches right there. And then the height about an inch and a half. All right, so I've got those little notes. Now I'm going to draw it in. And then carve it out. My elephant here. Now, when we're done with these skulls, we'll be working on our masks. And you're going to learn how to use plaster gauze and all kinds of different materials to build with. So, if you want, at a later date, after we finish the skulls and after they're out of the kiln, if you want to add stuff on to it, you could. So, like, let's say you want to make big horns or something. You could totally do that later, too. You can add that in later. And for this space here, I mentioned that you don't have to make that go all the way through. When you're carving it out, it might be easier, in fact, it will be easier, to go ahead and carve that out. And then you could cover that up with plaster gauze later if you decided you want to. Okay. Go ahead and get that space. Watch again if you need to. And then measure again. And this time, I'm just going to use my tool. This is typically what I do, is I use my fingers or my tools. And I just hold my finger on there, my fingers, to show the beginning and the end of that line. In the very front, just try to measure as many different places as you possibly can. Unlike drawing, drawing is from one angle. This is 360, so you have to keep on turning it around. If I were to try to just get the front correct, it, it wouldn't look right, because I have to keep turning it around. I'd eventually have to mess up the front of the face just so I could get the back right. I'm still trying to think of a name for my skull. Okay, now let's look at this cheekbone that comes all the way back. Let's take a measurement. I'm going to use, you could use your fingers or your calipers, or you can measure it with your, your tape. This is a little tricky because it's moving on me. The screw isn't in there tight. So I want to have them right next to each other. Oh yeah, it needs to be much wider in through there. So I need to add some more clay here. 
I'm going to roll it up into a coil this time because I need this piece right here. Just add that on. Move that out. Oops. Because I don't need as much at the end as I do begin at the front. Edit that out. Edit that out. I mean, I changed my mind. Oh, later I'll edit out. All right, so this space right here, I'm going to add that in. I need to measure in the front. There. And from the bottom up. About there. Okay, now the width, I need this wider in through here. So instead of taking this clay out, I'm going to push it down. And this piece here, I'm going to push it in and then I'm going to lighten up so that I get it higher up through here. I'm going to take this clay and add it on to this cheekbone right here. Okay, go ahead and measure your skull and get this negative space right here. And this is going to smooth out. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. You can watch. If you're ready to go ahead and do that, go ahead. But measure, 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 measure. Always looking at your skull. Always. Is, everything's right there. The answers are right there. my thumb in, lightly bring up the pressure so that it's deeper in the front than it is in the back, and then add some of that clay back on there, smooth this out, and add a little bit more clay there for that cheekbone. All right, go ahead and make your cheekbones. Double check and make sure you've got it the same on both sides. Your skull needs to be symmetrical. And then when you're done with that, I want you to take a minute and just smooth out your skull. We're almost done with you, dude. Poor Chica. Our next space that we're going to carve out is down here. This one does not go all the way through. I'm going to measure, find my placement on this skull. You've got a much, much bigger negative space. Alright, so that is almost, almost three inches, but not quite. Right about there. And it's a little triangle right here. And then you take your elephant ear. If it's easier to get your fingers in there, that's fine too. And dig that out. Okay, go ahead and measure and carve out that little negative space there. this positive shape right here and here. I'm going to make sure that you've got a wide enough bone structure through there. And then carve that up. Alright, our last step. Our last step before we're ready to add the teeth. We want to smooth everything out. And then we are going to carve, you can use your finger or a tool, around the base 
it needs to dip under around the base. All right, go ahead and finish up the base of your skull. Smooth it all out. Make sure that you're double checking and triple checking from your original skull. We haven't done the teeth yet. We'll do those later. We're actually going to carve out the entire thing before we do the teeth. All right, be good. Be great. Be amazing. I know you will. Beep. Stop recording. Was that terribly boring?